Hello everybody, Epic Mewtwo here. Today we are back with another figure unboxing video. And just like we talked about in the Super Saiyan Broly unboxing video, we're going to be unboxing today the Full Power Broly from the same set, the Tag Team Ichiban Kuji set. Technically not Ichiban Kuji because it's overseas. Blah, 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 blah. But... We're gonna get into it. Funny enough, even though they came at the same time, you saw how uh, I get this guy from Tokyo Takamon, or I got this guy rather from Tokyo Takamon, just like I got the last one, and like I get most of my figures. And they put it in like complete bubble wrap this time, like they didn't have any openings, it's just completely encased, which if you guys remember on the Super Saiyan Broly video, it was only like the sides and there was no top casing, so... Uh, this is a little bit weird, not that I'm opposed, because obviously that just means that they're taking uh, really good care of, um, you know, keeping these guys safe in transmission, or transmission, instant transmission, no, in transit, right? Um, I have had figures get damaged in the box before, like the whole box got, well, I don't know if the figure necessarily got damaged, but the box got like smashed, and I do like to keep the boxes, so it's always unfortunate when the box is like, you know, literally deceased, <laughs> so it's always nice to see companies taking precautions to protect their product like this for the consumer, so shout out to Tokyo Takamo, not sponsored or anything like that, but since I order from them all the time, I figured I might as well share because it's literally like that one, uh, I think it was like a car commercial where they put the kid in bubble wrap and like for his whole existence, basically, the mom was like, alright son, go have fun, you know, and then he's in like the bubble wrap. <laughs> anyway, yeah, look at that dude, that's like crazy. Alrighty, so let's take a look at this Broly. This is another Broly from the Tag Team line, as you can see, well, maybe not at the top there. Gogeta! Get back on your stand, young man. How dare you? <laughs> As you can see here, right? Full power Broly. We have the Dragon Ball Super and the Dragon Ball Super Broly logo, as well as the Focus, thank you. S Culture's tag team logo. Obviously, again, this is an Ichiban Kuji figure, but it's the overseas version, so it doesn't have the actual Ichiban Kuji thing on it. Very, very cool. Broly Dragon Ball. I like the side piece. That's very nice. What do we got in the back? Again, glad that they just made it black. When they did Super Saiyan 4 Goku, they did a really weird, like, uh, here, actually, I have the Gogeta box handy right here. They did a really weird, like, wait, that one wasn't as bad. Hold on. Was it Goku? That was weird. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. That just looks weirder to me in a color that is just not fitting at all for the figure. And then it's the background of displaying just the full size of the figure. This, I think, is perfect. Anyway, though, obviously we have our information on the back. Big Broly on the side there. Bandai, I hate that they do this so much. I know that's, you know, what normal figures do too, but they shouldn't have to put that because it should just look like what's on the box. Anyway, there's the sticker. There's the bottom. Again, it's going to say Banpresto on the bottom because they're the ones who bring it over to the States. So let's go ahead and get him out of the box. We are going to compare him with the Super Saiyan version. Um, as I talked about as well in the Super Saiyan Broly video for this set, um, each character had a character that they were fighting, right? And so the Super Saiyan Broly was fighting a blue Goku who was kicking upward, and this guy was fighting a blue Gogeta. On um, the blue Gogeta figure, I did not get, because personally, I thought that the face looked, uh, pretty bad, especially his chin, um, so I decided not to pick it up, um, so I'll probably end up displaying this Broly, that's really weird, the tapes are, like, way up there, weird, anyway, I'll probably end up displaying this Broly with a different Gogeta or something like that, my one project that I had for my figures on my wall is coming along pretty nicely, so let me, uh, turn that over there, pull this out, all right, what do we got? I will say, if anything, you know, as much as, you know, sometimes Bandai is hit or miss like we talk about in every video that I open up a Bandai figure, I love their boxes. Their boxes are great. I love how they style the figures on the boxes. I love the, I don't know, art choice, I guess, or like the editing that they do for the figures. This is really hard to get out, by the way. Ah, Broly! Oh, he's already put together. Yeah, no, and I like the shape of the boxes, too. They're very nice, very uniform. 
Okay, wow, he's already put together. That's kind of interesting. Um, he also has his face covered in bubble wrap. Good job, Bandai. We like that. We like that. Now, something I did forget to mention in the last video, um, that actually my boy Baggy Saiyan reminded of me, oh my gosh, she's so buff, on Twitter, um, is that another special thing about this line, um, I forget who sculpted it, but they talked about in this little, like, interview special thing for this Ichiban Kuji set, that the whole point of the Broly's in this set was to make the most possible detailed Boz ear, if you remember in the last video, I was like, wow, this Boz ear is very detailed compared to the Ultimate Soldiers one. And that's because this line is specifically supposed to have a very detailed uh, Boz ear, which is really cool. Very, very detailed, and I love it so much. So, before we unveil our man's face, let's take a look at the rest of him. He looks very good. I have no complaints about anything here. He does look a little bit pink. Elbow's a little bit weird, but other than that, why did they bubble wrap his foot? That's weird. This one wasn't bubble wrapped. Maybe it's because it's straight? I don't know. That's really weird. All right. The piece de resistance. His face. What do we got? Unwrap it. Ooh. Ah. That's not bad from this side. Well. Huh. From the top angle like this, he kind of looks like old Broly, but like this, he looks like new Broly. No, that's, that's really good. Okay. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. Let's take a look compared to the box. Um, obviously, we know that it's not the same as the box, but let's see if we can get like the same uh, general, no, no, focus on the figure. The figure, please. Here, I'll focus it up in a second once I get the right spot. There, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, that's about the same, I'd say. Here. We'll grab that angle right there. Yeah, that definitely is a lot similar than some of Bandai's other figures, I'd say. That I feel like, you know what it is? His face, the actual figure's face, is a little bit thinner. I think that's what it is. The face is a little bit thinner. Because I, I was going to say the nose looks longer, but looking at the, um, you know, like if we look right there, right, with the, oh, well, you can't really see that. With the front of the box, his nose, maybe his nose is a tiny, tiny bit longer, but I think the face is just a little bit thinner. But he looks amazing. <laughs> this Broly is actually really cool. Um, I'm very, very, very pleased with this guy. That's awesome. The only thing I think I don't like about it is just this arm gapping um, in the, like where they put it together there. I do see a little bit of a shiny scuff there, but other than that, it looks pretty good. The hair is also extremely nice. Yeah, this is a very solid Broly figure, to be honest. I love it. This is awesome. Bandai, you did a very good job on this one. Okay. So let's go ahead and put the stand together. Um, this, wonderful, and then we'll do this, I do like how they make it so that it's like not confusing at all when you put the stand in there, there's like shaped holes on the bottom, right, so then that way you won't get confused, also on the bottom you can see, uh, it just focused a second ago, boy, it says Bandai Spirits, you can see it, anyway, let's go ahead and put Broly on there, oh no, the stand did go and ruin it, it's one of those where you just set it on there, I'm not really a big fan of those, but I guess then it leaves less holes in the actual figure, so Broly's little uh, hole is right there, can we get that in there, how does this, what angle are we looking for here, that's not going in, is it, here, what angle are we looking for, like this, and then, Straight on, I guess? Here, we can always look at the back of the box, too. To see. Oh, no, is that it right there? I don't want to ruin the paint on the bottom of Broly, either. Oh my God, his leg. Hold on. Can you sit there for a second? Yes. That's not tight in. Actually, I don't trust that. Let me hold it. Let's look at the back. Um... Okay, that doesn't help at all. Also, that stand looks, like, weirdly more clear. Okay. This is probably the most difficult part about Broly figures, to be honest. 
um, is that they unfortunately have, and see now I'm like screwing it up because I'm struggling to put it in there. I'm like messing up the hole. Um, this is the most unfortunate part about Roly figures and also part of the reason why it's nicer when they do it separate when they like do Boz ear as a separate piece because then that way you don't have to struggle um, trying to get it under Broly's cape because it's all, all or cape, Boz ear, whatever because it's always super duper difficult trying to push it in with this big piece impairing your ability to, you know, not only see but just push it in there from all angles. I think we did get it in there though. I am kind of miffed at myself that, as I was saying, I am kind of miffed at myself that I made that little bit of a mess up in the plastic, but I guess I could have thought about doing it this way. I didn't think about that until it literally fell apart, but that's okay. All right, so Broly just sits on there. Um, I guess it just sits on the white part. That seems really weird, but that is, it looks like it sits here. Yeah, there we go, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I guess that's all the way in, yeah, okay. It feels like this is like bending back a little bit more, but maybe I'm just tripping, I don't know. Either way though, that's Broly. That is a very, very, very solid Broly figure. This honestly, I mean granted, you know, they haven't made a whole ton of full power Broly figures yet. I think King Cluster Broly will probably always be my favorite because it's King Cluster Broly, how can you beat it? But for a normal sized figure, this is an absolutely amazing piece. I really, really love it. Not only do we have the amazing detail on Boz's ear, we have the general muscle definition. Broly's face actually makes him look like Broly. I think it's a pretty solid one. Let's compare it to the Super Saiyan Broly that we unboxed last time. Holy cow, the skin is a completely different color. That is kind of interesting. Sorry about my finger there. Very interesting. I wonder why that is. I guess maybe it's just because that one he's supposed to have like the yellow Super Saiyan aura, right? And that's kind of what's changing his skin tone. And then obviously the green key is a little bit lighter. Okay, so maybe I was misconstrued on that. Because I think that this one... Um, is supposed to be the more detailed ear. Yeah, this is what I was thinking of, my bad. I kept saying in this one, and then now looking at it, I was like, hold on a second, that one looks more like the Ultimate Soldier's Broly, where it's not as detailed, and it looks kind of like simplified. This is the more detailed one. This is what I was talking about with these Broly's. Obviously, okay that this one's not detailed, this looks perfectly fine as well. This is the detail that I was talking about, and we went over in the Super Saiyan Broly video. But regardless though, um, even though, these two, uh, yo, you could kind of just play them like that. Yo, that's kind of sick. Yo, that's kind of sick. I like that. Still kind of weird though, because they look like they're from a different set considering the skin coloration and even like the coloration on the pants um, is a little bit different. But I guess the sculpting style is the same. Also, Broly's head on the other one is like a lot bigger. Just to compare as well, um, I think I did this with Super Saiyan Broly. If not, I apologize. But for size comparison, right? We've been talking about how they've been making the Kuji smaller and smaller. This was the original Broly movie Kuji Super Saiyan Blue Goku, one of the best Super Saiyan Blue Goku figures in my opinion. And uh, as you can see, he's quite bigger. Obviously, he is grounded, but just his entire like body, right, in regards to Broly, his entire body, right, because Goku only has a little bit more height on him, but. He only has just a little bit more height because Broly's up on the stand. If he was on the ground, it would be a different story. But just for some comparison there, obviously these guys don't really scale too well. Um, they still look kind of cool together though. And then the last one we have for today. Unfortunately, again, I did not buy the Gogeta. This goes with it or that goes with this one because I think the face looks ugly. But you can pair this with... Nakazawa's Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, which kind of doesn't look like the same size because this guy looks a little bit bigger, um, but these guys still pair pretty well. I'm sure you could still do a pretty cool setup with this, especially if you tried to have like Broly be more far away or something like that. Nonetheless though, that is going to do it for today's unboxing. Hope you guys enjoyed. This Broly figure is absolutely amazing. I really, really like it. 
Um, I think I even like it a little bit more than the Super Saiyan Broly, not that I don't like this one. But for a normal sized figure, right, decent price. The Kuji ones are a little bit more expensive. They're 35 bucks usually, as opposed to the normal 20. But I think this guy's well worth the money. He's absolutely fantastic. And Bandai did it. They made a figure that looks like the box. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you in the next one. Epic Me 2 out. Peace. Yari Brody!